Hey guys, happy Monday. Welcome back to the new M Weekly. Oh my goodness, it feels like so long since I've done an M Weekly. There's just been loads of technical difficulties and stuff. It's been here, there and everywhere, but she's back, she's back. Wearing this jumper, which I'm absolutely in love with. I have lots of hauls coming up. To be fair, I've been filming lots of videos, so you guys are gonna see this on Sunday. But how cute is this? It was it was eight nine no, it was twelve ninety nine. I'm very impressed. I'm loving my skin right now. I feel like my skin is glowing. I've been using James Reed H2A Tan Drops, which are just exceptional. If you guys watch any of my vlogs, you'll know. I talk about them all the time. They're always in my makeup bag. Just keep my skin glowing through my makeup. And then, actually, let me just quickly show you what else I've been using. So, what do we have here? I'm gonna do a full clear out of my crazy bathroom soon and I might film it so let me know if you would like to see that so I've been using Luna sleeping night oil for like the last two weeks and I'm really liking it I don't know why you can barely see hello light it's basically retinol oil it comes out blue so it's kind of scary but it's meant to stop aging in its tracks which we always like some James Reed for the body some Espar what else do we have some Falorga cleansing mousse as you can tell it's pretty much gone Elemis Cleansing Balm, amazing. Some Depthy on my cellar water. Over here, loads, loads, loads more skincare. Basically, yeah, that Neutrogena, Oily, Clarins. I'm loving it. These are the drops. I know I've talked about them a lot, like so much, but they're just the best things I've ever used for a face tan. So you can put them with your moisturizer, or you can just, I've just been putting them on by myself because I wanna be super tanned. I've just been to the gym. I had a personal training session this morning, then I've just been catching up with some emails and stuff. I don't usually have makeup on for the gym. Um, it's actually quite rainy outside today. It's kind of good because it means I got on with my work. My phone's been dead. I feel like I'm way more productive with a dead phone. Anyone else feel that way? So yeah, I am basically gonna go and have some food. Peanut butter on toast, my favorite thing to eat after the gym. And then I'm gonna wash my hair and properly sort my face out. So I just wanna quickly show you guys these trousers. Can't stop placing H&M orders at the moment. Got these trousers and this roll next. I wanted to quickly show you it before I hop in the shower, eat and take my makeup off. Also got this dress which is so gorgeous. So I'm gonna try this on too. Look how nice these are. I'll link everything below. So I spotted this this week. I have no tan on, so this is the palest you'll ever see me. I personally just feel a lot more confident with tan on, um, and I've got an event this week, so I'm gonna tan. We've got a busy week ahead, but I just wanted to quickly show you guys this. It's gonna sell out, but I'm sure it will come back in stock. It's basically like a cheaper copy of some of the ones that I've seen online, so I just ordered it, and I was like, I need to show you guys. Right, now I'm gonna shower and get myself ready. Out of the shower now, all scrubbed. Does anyone else's hair just go really big out of the shower? Because mine is huge, so I've just tied it up to give it like a nice natural kink. But I'm just, I'm really happy with how my skin is at the moment. So I've got the Armani event on Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday, yes, tomorrow. So I thought it was only right to show you my tanning routine. So if you watch my grease vlog, which is finally live, took so long to edit. You will know I have been using this bad boy, James Reed Self Tan Coconut Dry Oil Tan Body. It's exceptional. It gives you the nicest tan. It keeps your skin so moisturized, hydrated. It's got vitamin E and coconut oil in it. So as you can imagine, your skin just feels amazing. And James Reed is more of a premium tanning product. And I think you definitely get what you pay for. The reason it's so good is because it uses such good ingredients. I just used to put like orange stuff all over my skin when I was younger and not really care. And I probably just have like orange within my veins. So now I'm trying to opt for tans that actually have goodness inside them. So it's a total honor to be collaborating with James Reed this month I'm literally buzzing I started using James Reed literally years ago probably four years ago and then I was invited on a trip to Barcelona with James himself met him fell in love with him which meant I fell in love with his brand even more I know that we all mix and match our kind of shampoos and our fake tans I don't really know anyone that only uses one fake tan brand or one shampoo brand but just know that when I genuinely talk about something all the time, it's because I love it. And James Reed is one of those brands that I have been talking about for years and years. My longtime mentors, readers, will know that if you've read like my tanning guides and that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna tan myself up 
ready for the Armani event and I'm obviously going to use a coconut dry oil because I want like a really nice colour and a really nice base tan. So I absolutely love this because it's a dry oil. I think that's why it was so good on holiday because it just kept my skin so smooth the whole trip. It was actually like the perfect after sun and kept me glowing and tanned. It's a deeply moisturising dry oil and it's got coconut oil and vitamin E in, meaning it's very good for my skin. And it's lightweight and non-greasy and it dries really quickly. I really need something that's going to dry quickly. It's a really natural tan as well. And it lasts up, up to five days, but I would say it lasts at least a week on me. So this is my body with absolutely no tan on. I have a little bit of makeup on my face, that's it. But absolutely zero, zero, zero tan. So the reason I personally like tanning is I think it makes me feel so, so, so body confident. That is just a personal thing for me. That's why I like James Reed as a brand so much because it's all about how it makes you feel and I love that. It's all about just making you feel confident and feel great. So I am going to just pop some on my arms just to show you how quick and easy and seamless and nice the application is. Hair on top of head, so I'm go just gonna start. I don't want you guys to have to watch me tanning my whole body, even though you can do it quick and efficiently. Just don't really think you guys want to watch my whole body being tanned. So I'm just wearing like some little things, some little things that I don't mind tanning in, and I'm just gonna show you myself tanning with the coconut dry oil to show you how easy and how quick it is and talk you through some of my top tanning tips whilst I'm doing it. You guys see me being tanned and I show you the aftermath of my tan but I never actually show you me doing it. So I'm using a James Reed Mitt. This recently came into my life, thank you James for inventing this, it's amazing. Matt will never tan my back because he's always like, no Em, it always seeps through the mitts and it's because I've not been using the James Reed Mitt. Now I have this, it's revolutionised my life, I've used this about five times now, nothing has seeped through to my hands, it just absorbs it so well and means that it goes on so nicely all over my body, no streaks. So my top tip, make sure that your body is completely clean of tan. A lot of the time I am on the go, so I am tanning over tan, which isn't the best if you want a smooth, nice application. So now I have fully clean skin ready to tan over it. I like to do use a scrub, usually 48 to 24 hours beforehand, and shave my body 24 hours to 48 hours beforehand as well, otherwise it goes into your pores and we don't want that. So you can either pop it straight onto the mitt or pop it straight onto your skin. James, give me a job on QVC. Like, I have used his products for so long. I'm like the ultimate James Reed fan. You guys know I only talk about things I love and there are so many reasons why I love James Reed. So for me, I like tanning and it's all about how confident it makes me feel. Some people look amazing pale and you work it. For me, I am just someone who has always liked to be tanned. There is no wrong or right. That is just the way it is for me. James's products don't go orange and I know that a lot of people get worried that tans will go orange. I have been orange in the past and I think I was just kind of using cheaper products that did go orange. This is great because the colour and the ingredients means it ain't going to go orange. Then I'm just going to pop one layer on of this. But if I want to be really bronzed, just because I do like to be really bronzed, I ain't going to lie. I actually put a fair few layers on of this. It's all about just doing it in a logical manner. So start at the bottom, circular motions all the way up. Now a lot of people ask me the question, well... How can you see where it's going without a colour guide? But you just get used to it, like you can tell as long as you're just logical and you do those circular motions, you know when you've covered all of your arm. And just try, do one layer first or two layers and then go to sleep, wake up or test it in four hours time and then you can always apply more if you need to. It's better to apply less and not be the colour you want and then be able to apply more than have to like scrub the whole thing off. And then I don't want to make you guys watch me tan my whole body but you could do the same on the stomach i actually like to have something like this because then it fakes my tan lines obviously you can tan naked but for the purpose of this i ain't gonna tan naked i think i might get reported from youtube so i'm just gonna move down to the leg so you guys can see the leg being tanned for some reason the leg is the area of the body that i don't like tanning so as you can see deeply moisturizing nice dry oil love it soaks in so 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 quickly that coconut oil it's just not greasy at all. Oh, and it smells so good, that coconutty fragrance. So body is now all done with my layer of tan and then I'm just gonna go and sort my face out and then I can show you guys me applying my tan. I'm just gonna pop a bikini on as well because I'm just gonna wash up my face. So I'm fully dry, my skin is feeling radiant. 
I just need to do my face. So I'm gonna use the Gradual Tan H2 Tan Drops, which I've been using pretty much every night. They are amazing. Um, and you can pretty much blend it with your natural moisturizer because it's a water-based formula, so it doesn't interfere with skincare. And I think that's why it hasn't made me break out. It's amazing. You can put it on in the morning and then pop your makeup over the top and you just glow through because um, it's gradual. Or you can pop it on in a night. I like to do it on an evening, wake up the next day, go to the gym, no makeup on, but my skin looks amazing. It's such a good way to cheat like a no makeup look just by wearing tan on your face. So yeah, this tan has actually got water, hyaluronic acid and aloe vera within it, which is kind of why it doesn't block your pores, it doesn't clog your skin. I am just gonna pop three little drops with the moisturizer. So my top tanning tips to take away from this, I always shave at least 24 to 48 hours before, I always scrub 24 to 48 hours before, apart from on this vlog, because my tan actually looks pretty damn nice. Um, and I always just apply it in circular motions and in a kind of logical way using a mitt. This one's really good, you don't get any streaks of this James Reed mitt, by the way. Um, I'm obsessed with the H2O tan drops, and I am trying to use products, like tanning products that have good ingredients in, so your hyaluronic acid, your aloe vera, your coconut oil, so that it doesn't dry my body and doesn't put orange stuff into my bloodstream. So with this you can control your dose, you've got like the little pipette, and I find that say if you applied it three days in a row, your face is gonna get darker, if you just applied it one day, it's not as dark, so I've scrubbed mine off and I'm starting again, but I wanna be dark, because I feel like it just shines through my foundation and makes my foundation look so much better. I'm sure I'll get a question about this, but when it comes to like maintaining the tan, I always, always recommend moisturizing your body every single day. I tend to apply my tan on day one and then on day two, I've said this for years, I always apply a gradual tan. I just feel that it keeps my tan glowing. If you are interested in gradual tans, James Reed is a coconut water tan mist body. This is amazing. I had a spray tan with James himself. So many people commented on how flawless my skin looked. I think that's the thing, fake tan isn't just about the colour, but it makes my skin look so soft, so hydrated, so glowing, and just gives me that confidence. But yeah, I'd say this is a really good one because it sprays on really quickly, it's really lightweight. Gone are the days of feeling greasy, oily, and dirty when applying tan and smelly. No one wants to smell. You can just literally pop your clothes on straight after all of these tans, and this is just a really good kind of one that you could pop on on the morning, get dressed for work, and then your tan would stay for the rest of the week even better. I would say but that's just like one of my tips. So I'm gonna get on with my day now. I will show you how this looks soon. Um, I'm gonna leave it a few hours. So I'm just gonna go catch up on some work and then we'll chat soon. I've got to tell you, I've got some exciting news, but I'll tell you guys tomorrow, right? I'm just gonna tidy my bedroom, even though I said it was tidy this morning. I'm gonna pack, that is a light on my bed. I am developing nicely. I'm just gonna pack because I'm heading to Matt's tonight because we're driving to London tomorrow. Oh, I've just suddenly come on with the worst stomach ache. I think I, well, I know that I have a food intolerance and it's something that oh, I've been saying for years and you literally, if I showed you a picture of like the before and after of like my stomach when it gets like this, I look like I have a baby inside my stomach or like a ball. And um, I did an intolerance test, like a blood test and I'm not really coming to terms with it. And I just ate it like an hour ago. And now my stomach's gone like this. Back to packing, although I'm kind of in a lot of pain. <laughs> hey guys, it's a few hours later. Can we talk about how good that colour looks? Obviously, I've not pulled this up because... I want you guys to see the full effect, but you guys can definitely see just how amazing and natural that colour is. This is just after four hours and literally, that is so nice. I literally love it. No marks anywhere either. Also TMI, but that's a before and after, which is pretty good. 
Okay, my swelling seems to have gone down on my stomach, but hopefully you can see how lovely this tan is now. It's developed, changed into these trousers that I wear all the time. Look at my face. My face is so tan. don't have one single bit of makeup on. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to go to Matt's. It's an hour drive, and then I will see you guys in the morning, and I will tell you what I've been studying today, and I will tell you my exciting news in the morning. So good night. Morning off with this man, and he got avocado mash, they called it. Never heard it called mash. Porridge. And I got a cinnamon bagel, and this one. Hello, baby. Morning, guys. So, the porridge that I got, I look like I have no eye makeup on. Look how nice my tan is. Natural. The porridge that I got was just like very sugary. So that was a bit of a waste, but we had bagels, didn't we? They were good. You didn't like yours? It was all right. They're not. It was avocado mash, but it's not smashing, really sir. mashed up the avocado. Um, just like mine chunky. was good. I do love a cinnamon raisin bagel. Someone asked the other day if we'd broken up. I feel like maybe you've just not been in my I've, vlogs recently. I've, I've been trying for ages, just not been successful yet. <laughs> no, guys, we're still together. Um, I'm wearing Charlotte Tilbury on the lips. James Reed tan this outfit. This jacket is Iden denim. I really like it. So, just in London, just got parked up. Another question we've been asked a lot recently is, why do you guys stay in so many hotels? Thought you'd bought a house. I'll leave a link below to the video all about my house situation. But yeah, we're back to living in hotels in London for the time being. So I just have a quick little meeting, having some Japanese food, which I'm excited about because it's my favorite food. And then tonight we have an event with Armani and it's Victoria's birthday. Um, I also have something to tell you, my secret, and what I've been, what I've been working on. I don't really want to explain to you my secret that I've been keeping whilst I'm walking. If you've got me on Twitter, you will know the secret, but I just want to elaborate on it a little bit. Right, let's go. Cute little brunch spot to keep Matt in whilst I go to my meeting. My meeting is here and Matt is sat here. <laughs> if that's not doting boyfriend, I don't know what is. What are you going to order? Why have you got two phones? Oh, clever. So meeting's done, hair up, gosh my face looks like shiny. Um, I'm just gonna go and get a blow dry, I'm heading to show beauty and then I'll actually tell you what I said I was gonna tell you. It's just been one of those days. Got back from show in Notting Hill, had a blow dry. Look at my tan, how nice is that? I did an Instagram Q&A today and so many people were asking me questions about this tan. No, it doesn't transfer. Right, I'm gonna quickly do my makeup because I look like a sloth right now. Not as cute as a sloth. We just ordered an Uber Eats, absolutely starving, and then we're gonna hop in a taxi. Spritzing myself with some Jo Malone, as always, a mini travel one. Then I'm using Hourglass Concealer. Blending it with a nude by nature brush. I know you guys can barely see the lighting and this room was a bit rubbish This is Vici Derma Blend foundation. Give me a nice dewy glow and a full coverage Looks good with the tan underneath so it like shines through like glowy My big earrings. My nails are done by Ragdoll Nails in Leeds MAC lip liner. I am obsessed with MAC lip liners at the moment Powder by MAC as well open up what did we get we ordered Leon we love Leon although I am so knackered from running up and down those flights of stairs tin oh I bet that's your brownie oh burger. burger what else oh do you use this one red chem bruise <laughs> flatbread my meatballs silicon chicken Chili dip, chili dip, yum yum. Oh, did you want alioli? Because I got chili dip. Oh, I would have preferred alioli. Oh, sorry. Let's eat. Are these are fries. Guys, these baked fries from Leon are the best things you'll ever have. See, already, although I have such a big back, I can't actually fasten this up. I'm wearing this little jumpsuit. I don't really care about having it fastened. Like, does it look bad? Sorry. Looks fine. So I'm wearing this jumpsuit. Stick on bra needs to be moved. And yeah, we're going to jump in a taxi and go over now. So I think the venue is at Borough Market. My lipstick, I got distracted doing my makeup because the food came, 
It is by MAC. I can't remember which one is. It's in my clutch bag. Let's go. Guys, I ate so much bread, I actually can't breathe. Like, my boobs are spilling out. Maybe the issue is my boobs, not my like loads of bread. <sighs> okay, so my news. I'm going to tell you my, my secret news now before this vlog gets too long and we get too far into it. So, as most of you will know if you're kind of like long time followers, I've always been into fitness. Fitness has been like, fitness and nutrition, like two of my massive passions. Now bear with me because I know I have a lot of passions. Fashion, beauty, skincare in particular, hair care, fake tan. I feel like it's okay to have more than one passion. And when I was in school, I just didn't really know what I wanted to do. What was that? I have not blended that in. Um, I obviously went and did a degree at the University of Leeds and I'm really happy with the degree I did. I did some amazing like business modules and law modules and it was just incredible. But then I obviously ended up accidentally falling into my job, which is blogging, which is fine. I love it. Me telling you this is not by any means me having a career change. I'm not changing my career. I'm just adding. So because I've always loved nutrition, health and fitness, it has always, always been on my mind forever to become a personal trainer. When I say become a personal trainer, I don't mean become a personal trainer where I like, I'm in the gym every single day training clients, which is obviously a traditional personal trainer. I more mean I want the knowledge in my head so that I can train people, but I want to be able to like train people from a distance or even just have the, I don't know what the word is like, the, what's the word? Um, the knowledge. I want to have the knowledge in my mind so that when I'm writing my blog posts and if they are about fitness or when I'm talking about my fitness routines on my YouTube videos, whether that's in a vlog or like an actual video, then I feel like I'm actually qualified to talk about that rather than just being a girl who really likes fitness. It's difficult because I have like a background of I've done athletics the whole way through school. I've always really done a lot of research into health and fitness so I know a lot about it anyway from my own research. But but by me giving myself the backing of a personal training course that's recognised, then I actually can't have that as a qualification. So, I've been thinking about this for a long time. My main issue is time, because I just don't really have any time as it is. So don't ask me why I've taken this on. But Train Fitness got in touch with me, to be completely transparent, and it just came at the right time. These guys are amazing, so they've set me up, and you can either do a distance learning course, or you can do, um, you can go and do it like quickly if you go in like every day for a few months um, and all of that kind of jazz. I feel like this light is not very good. Um, I'll leave a link to the website so you can check out what different things they do. And I've chosen to do distance learning. So it basically means that I can learn in my own time. It can take up to two years, but I'm gonna hopefully try and smash it out. Although it's pretty intense. It can take up to two years. I can do it from the comfort of my own home. But I do do like 20 hours in a gym, actually PTing people. And yeah, it basically means that I'm gonna be like qualified in group exercise, which is great because I really want to host some meetups with you guys where we do a workout, I host the workout, and then we have cake after, obviously. Balance is key. But yeah, nothing's changing around here. I might just be a bit busier studying, so I'm kind of going back to my studying. So like today in the hair salon, I was sat on my laptop studying. You can do it on an app on your phone, and you can do it on the laptop, and it's very hefty to get through. Like, I think I've done the first four sections, and there's probably about like 200 sections and it's I'm trying to do an hour per night um, and I'm hoping I can bosh through it that way but I'm just trying to get it done get it done making notes whilst they're like teaching me on their virtual system their virtual classroom online and then I'll go and do my actual assessments in like proper exam situations I've done three like exam mini exams like you're not marked on them but you do them at the end of each session and I passed them so far so yeah I'm actually running it quite hard and Matt's actually really good at fitness I mean, like when we were talking about bones. I mean, a little bit. Yeah, but I was, I was really excited trying to teach him about bones, and he was like, I knew more than you, you know? he already knew them. This qualification with Train Fitness, I'm excited. I don't know how long it's going to take. I need to do some research and see how long it generally takes people to do the distance learning. But there's no pressure because I've got two years, but I would rather just get it done. Like, I'm hoping to have it done in a few months, but I just don't know if that's possible. I don't know. If anyone's done it, let me know. And yeah, just means that I'll be more knowledgeable. I feel like we're here to learn. Why would you not learn if you've got the, you know, you can do it. So I may as well just add that to my brain power and then maybe do something to do with nutrition after. I don't know. But yeah, so hopefully, guys, that means my fitness content will be better informed in the future. And I hope that that's not a crap secret. But yeah, right. So we're heading to Armani now. And yeah, my boobs are spilling out.
Morning guys, it's Thursday. I'm not gonna do a crazy big vlog today because usually I go live with my vlog on the week on a Friday, but this vlog is going live the following week because I'm putting my Greece vlog live the week that this is meant to be going live due to lots of technical difficulties, which is actually quite good because it's Matt's birthday on Saturday, so it means that you guys can come along to Matt's birthday with me. I've organized something special. I'm doing something special with my family on Sunday, so at least it means that you guys can actually come and have some fun with me rather than me just vlogging Monday to Thursday like I usually do. So I don't want to take up the week with like boring stuff. Oh, I think that's the sound of a cleaner. I prefer a second day blow dry. Look how well show, show beauty do blow dries I look. It is still there, and I reckon on day three it will look even better. So I'm wearing these. Dun, 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 these trousers. Me and polka dots can't get enough. These sandals, as always. Um, so last night the Armani party was amazing. It was for the party for their perfume. And the problem is, when we got there, Matt got really, really ill. So Matt actually couldn't come to the party, which is such a shame. So that's why I didn't really do much vlogging. So I spent the night with Victoria and also Susie and Alex and Lydia. It was so nice to catch up with them. Just, oh. I literally love Vic and it was obviously her birthday and then me and Lydia just had so many giggles and it's just really nice. I'm a big believer in surrounding yourself by good people and just positive people because negativity breeds negativity and positivity breeds positivity. So I'm just going to head off to some meetings now. I have a long day of meetings. I'm going to try to film like a bit of my food because that's what you do. But yeah, I don't want to bore you guys too much. Right, let me give you a full outfit shot. Also, I hope you can see my tan is still going strong. Honestly, this colour is so nice. I am in love, look at that. Trousers and the shoes. been to a meeting and then I went to a Pilates class to catch up with Lucy and she was like do you want to come back to my office and meet my dog and I was like oh my god are you joking look at the dog you are amazing look at his face <gasps> how old is he and um, he's five on Sunday it's his <gasps> birthday oh my god you're gonna have some cake or some fish <laughs> he's so cute no idea but the locks and tan store on regent street if you're ever in london has like a little cafe upstairs and you can sit and have like tea macaroons cake oh my god it's amazing look you even get a macaroon menu so can i please get the uh, jasmine neroli one and then the pom pom mousse and rhubarb. And then the honey and mortel and mandarin. And then could I get a chocolate one? And um, the pistachio. Matt loves pistachio. Yeah, pistachio is my absolute favourite. Maybe two chocolate because he'll probably eat my chocolate. <laughs> and I don't share chocolate. Nah. Um, ooh, maybe a caramel one. Caramel? Yes, please. Is that it? Have I done it? Yay! Thank you so much. This is literally incredible. The meeting's done at lots of time was amazing. So in Regent Street, oh my god, that store's so nice. I got some macaroons, macaroons, macaron, whatever you guys want to call them. They have an amazing little cafe there. I'm definitely gonna go back, take my mum there. They do hand massages and stuff. Just with Matt now. He's feeling better, aren't you? He's feeling I'm better. Best, yeah. Just having some food, we're having some Thai, and I've got him a little present. So I'm gonna show him it. Matt's a connoisseur of this. So he's gonna very much like these because they taste like amazing. This is your get well soon present from L'Occitane, although I'm sharing them. That's your favorite brand as well, L'Occitane. Remember when we learned how to pronounce it? 
What is it? They're like the best something you'll ever eat like in your macaroons. whole life because you know the test and you know. It's like macaroon pots. And it also, do you remember the ones I got you from Paris? You didn't like them; they weren't to your tasting. Nice. These ones are really good. Just speed this up though, because it's <laughs> <hard to get. laughs> They're very well packaged. They've got a store on Regent Street and it's like a cafe inside their store. It's amazing. And I chose you the flavours and some of them are like Loxitana exclusives and they've got glitter on them. And they yeah. are, I got two chocolate ones because I had one in the store and the chocolate ones were amazing. Well, smash those for dessert. Yeah, I thought I'd give you them for your birthday on Saturday but obviously they'll have gone off by then so you've got to eat them now. That's a get well seen present. Coconut drive? Yeah, thank you. So this is Jasmine? Jasmine, yeah. This is also brown. Yeah, I ordered brown. You ordered brown. Thank you. Same one, yeah? Thank you. Edamame. Extra salt. We both copied each other. We should have got something different and then like shared, but. I chose this and you copied No. And then we got some Asian greens and some spring rolls. I am queen of spring rolls. Morning, guys. It's Saturday. It's also Matt's birthday. Didn't vlog yesterday, but I'm here today. My hair is still going strong even though I just went to a spin class. I'm going to actually wash it because I feel like it needs washing. So it's Matt's birthday. I'm going to show you a few things I've got him. I just got the best cake delivery ever as well. And then I'm going to show you a few parcels that have come because obviously I've been away and I've got a few treats that have come. Matt always calls me hun in like a jokey way. So I couldn't resist this happy birthday hun. The Leaning Tower of Pisa. His um... Lots of ice creams and lollies on there, pineapples, and then a card, and then let me quickly show you his actual cake. Oh my god, look how incredible this cake is. So there's a girl that she's a really good family friend, and she made this cake. So if anyone is local to Leeds or Yorkshire, I'll leave her link below, and she just does them for like family and friends, and Matt is going to lose his mind. He loves chocolate and he loves Victoria's sponge, so I got a blend of both. So yeah, Matt's coming around soon and I'm going to show him that, so I'm going to quickly show you some parcels that have arrived whilst I've been away now. So this is ridiculously exciting. It smells so good. I'd say it's got that kind of like sensual Tom Ford kind of smell, apart from it's Atkinson. So this arrived, falling leaves, perfect for autumn. and. Atkinson's is basically a luxury perfume brand and this is limited edition. Only 1,000 bottles of this have been made which makes me feel very honoured and it's for sale at Harrods. I really want you guys to smell this because I'm telling you if you like kind of sexy smells this smells so 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 sexy. It's actually got rhubarb and plum with a touch of black tea so it's quite brightening but also oriental. It's kind of one of my favourite scents just because I like deep scents and this is perfect. Well this is far too exciting. If you guys watch my makeup clear out you'll know that I have been buying Guerlain bronzers for as long as I can imagine. This is a new summer range. Look at this. Wait for it and look at this highlight. Oh my goodness. They've also got a pore minimizer now, a pore correcting treatment. This is really exciting. This is from Estee Lauder and it's their summer holiday special little set. This is the second edition. How cute is this? It's apparently worth over £70, but this is £25 and you get all of these minis. Absolutely swear by Clinique take off the day. I've never used the cleanser version of this. I've used the under eye cream though and it's very good. Ginseng energy boosting gel moisturiser. Love ginseng. Again, the under eye. This MAC colour. What is this called? Ginger Rose is stunning. You know sometimes in boxes like this they put ugly colours. That is not ugly. Bobbi Brown Mascara. Invisible Oil Shampoo. Free of Sulfate Cleansers. Look at these primers from Smashbox. You guys know I'm a very big Smashbox fan. Smashbox primers were actually the first primers I ever used. These are their new primers. Photo Finished Water. So Chill Coconut. Serene Green. Centering Citrus. Oh my days these are gonna be so good knockout negativity this hydrating three-in-one primer prep sets and refreshes your makeup and mood with centering citrus oh i am ready for this i got these from nip and fab oh my goodness look how exciting these are so they're, so they're fix sticks and you've got some that are blushes some that are for sculpting some that are highlighters oh my goodness where to start Sol de Janeiro, which I actually used on my recent trip and it smells so blooming good. I've brought out travel, I've brought out travel friendly products. 
I've already been using these on my travels, but this is a shower cream. I had no idea that they did this. I'm excited to use this mini bottle of gin. Jasmine and Rose Gin from Bloom. So Aveda is now stocked at Marks and Spencers, which is exciting because I have been using the Aveda Damage Remedy range for a long time. They also do very good blow dries. Okay, so I really want to nap. I'm so tired. Every time I go to spin, it completely takes it out of me. I am just sat on my laptop learning about the characteristics of muscle tissue. Did you know that there are approximately 650 muscles? So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing my train fitness research right now. Here we go. Birthday boy's here, come into the kitchen. Da da da. Wait. Ta da. Let's sit there. Do you like it? Where did that from? I got it made. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's Victoria's sponge as well. Thank you. Is that actual fucking It's actual. Oh, it? Yeah, this is what I sent to your mum. Jesus Christ. How good is that? A Phoebe made it. It's like a wedding cake, that. Yeah, I know. And it's all Victoria's sponge inside. Well, it's literally going to like the biggest slice of cake in the world. I know. Are you happy? Yeah, it's about a foot tall. Do you want to quickly open your... Yeah, it is. Do you want to quickly open your presents? Yeah, I can do it when you get back. Do you want to do it when we get back? Meg, you can definitely have some. Look how good it looks. <laughs> Look how good it looks. Yeah, it's, like, it's like four layers. Phoebe made it. Thank you. That's Phoebe nice. made it. Thank you. And it's Victoria Sponge because you asked for Victoria Sponge. Yeah. So we've just been getting ready. Sorry, it took me so long to get ready. I'm wearing this little jumpsuit. You can hear the fam ready for the dinner. They're taking my bag. Everyone's going to eat the cake. So we're just going to quickly head out for dinner. I'm taking that to one of my favourite places, a nice local restaurant. So we're going to head out now. He doesn't actually know where we're going. It's a total surprise until he arrives. When for French onion soup, you got the cheese out of the side so you can put it in. Yeah, I got the prawns. Do you say buy prawns? Oh my god, that is the biggest play of mussels. Yeah. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone. He's here! Ma, don't do that! Um, we're going to go do Go Ape today. Have you ever done Go Ape? I've never done Go Ape. We're gonna have fun, we're gonna climb from some trees. Um, Let's do it! Oh wait, do we go on the zipline? You will go on the zipline. Yeah, you won't quite go like that. We did go a. I was actually fine on the majority, but I've done it quite a lot of times when I was younger. And I did it in Florida maybe two years ago. Look, it's above me now. Wait. And you basically, I don't know if you guys even know what go a is, but um, you swing through trees, you zip line, they just open one in Leeds, so we're just at the one in Leeds. And um, yeah, it was, it was cool. Although there's one bit I was really scared of because they just plonked you off the edge. And my legs went all wobbly and I physically couldn't plonk off the edge. So Matt's gonna mock me fat for the rest of my life now, Matt. How was it? Yeah, it was good. It was quite tiring actually, surprisingly so. I was you were driven with the whole way through, yeah. Was it your first time you were doing it? First time I didn't go, but it's good though. Matt was just too scared to see the one where you plop off the drop. Yeah, Emma actually made the woman ask her if she could take a harness thing off and she actually went off a different way because she uh, pussied out. I did the hardest bit on everything else though, but my legs just went like jelly. It was a mental block. She had to stand on the edge and just drop off. So then Emma had to make everyone move back and go no, back no, down no. the wire just, just so she could get off. Just Matt, it wasn't that bad. So we're gonna go home now and chop into this amazing cake. What time is it? 
What time? No, it's cake slicing time. Okay. You did it on us. Mm -hmm. play. Oh my goodness, guys, I've just been laid on my bed in like a cake coma. It was good cake, wasn't it, Matt? Unbelievable. I'm just so full, and now we're going out for dinner. I'm wearing this dress, hello. But I'm very full. Obviously, we're going to see these. had enough sleep also I use this living proof dry shampoo actually washes your hair apparently and it gave me an extra day of my blow dry so thanks living proof I'm here for that yeah I'm just really really tired I think it's been one of those weeks where I've actually not had sleep so I don't know I can't really sleep this week either because it's a busy one but I'm looking forward to the weekend the next weekend so I can sleep but thank you guys for watching this vlog big 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 love today go it was so much fun I'm just been in the worst food coma since going for so much food went diseases had an amazing meal she had a really nice family day and Matt's birthday I just ate way too much cake shock as always everything I mentioned will be linked below come say hi on Instagram and Twitter at Emshalex and I love you guys for watching you guys are my face bye